Kung Fu master is prepared to train hard. Move fast. Keep coming! Be brave. And above all, <laughs> be ready for anything. Perfect. Really? No. Again! Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Ben Mankiewicz, Alonzo Duraldi, Christy Lemire, the third in the venerable Kung Fu Panda series, <laughs> uh, has reached theaters. Uh, I did not see it, so I won't be participating. Uh, but uh, Alonzo, what's the story here? So Poe is back, uh, and it turns out now that uh, the, it is time for the student to become the master. Uh, mm. Dustin Hoffman's character, whose name I forget, tells him that Shifa, it's... Master Shifa. Shifu. 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 <laughs> tells Poe that it's time for him to become uh, a, an instructor, and Poe is not down with this idea at first. Uh, but then Poe's biological father, uh, voiced by Brian Cranston, shows up just at the moment when uh, a, a super bad guy has escaped from the spirit realm, having captured the chi of the other kung fu masters. And it turns out that pandas are really good at chi. So uh, <laughs> Poe returns with his uh, with his bio dad and his adopted dad to the secret land of the pandas uh, to get his groove back. And um, <laughs> he learns that uh, you know the strength lies within, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Check it out. Next January. Nothing can prepare him for his greatest challenge yet. Who are you? I'm Li Shan. I'm looking for my son. <gasps> you lost your son? Yes. Many years ago, I lost my father. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Well, good luck to you. You too. I hope you find your son. And I hope you find your father. Yes, it's, it's my two dads, Panda Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Poe has two dads. So um, I kind of love this. This is kind of gorgeous. It is. And emotionally profound and very moving without trying too hard to be. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It, it, it does a lot of the sort of the messaging that you get out of kids' movies about like be yourself and you know the it was in you all along. It was in you all along, yes. or you know what makes you interesting is is what makes you special. You know, like is, what makes you unique is what makes you interesting. That kind of thing. But yeah, it, it it's very stealthily delivered. I love the look of these movies. Yeah. I mean, they're very colorful, but. Then they'll do the sort of split screen stuff with the action moments or in a flashback it'll suddenly go to 2D and it'll look like it's been, you know, yeah. painted on a scroll or something. There's a really beautiful mix of different styles here yes. and, and um, textures mm -hmm. and not in a way that feels jarring but in a way that just kind of meshes beautifully and, and color like bold reds and greens and golds but also very delicate pinks and blues and yeah, yeah it's just, it's beautiful. Really. Yeah, and, and a lot of uh, fun banter. I mean, I, I've never been a fan necessarily of populating animated films with marquee names. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of the great animated voice people are people like, you know, June Ferre or Billy West or whoever who aren't like movie stars mm -hmm. that are doing this on the side. But I think in this movie they really get the best out of people like Jack Black out of, you know, J.K. Simmons is the villain. Um, you know, there's some stuff between Seth Rogen and David Cross's character that is funny enough that I'm thinking, why those guys right. should do like a live action right. movie together. A sometime. quick little bit here and there. Yeah, I actually did not even know who some of the voices were because a lot of them are returning from the previous two films. But like I didn't realize until afterward, oh, that's Brian Cranston as his dad, that's mm -hmm. J.K. Simmons as, as the villain. Like it was that seamless. When, sure. when, when you have serious actors who take this stuff seriously, like, yes, I'm voicing a giant goofy panda, <laughs> but they're putting serious craft into it. And so it really works. There's um, a really touching scene between Poe and his dad. Yes. Um, there are some tearjerker moments. Yes. In here. Um, I, I, and also, the climax is very emotional. Very much so. And I, and I think it's a nice kind of uh, shout out to uh, adoptive parents. Mm -hmm. You know, how the, there's just the, the realization that Poe has that, you know, yes, this, this, 
this bio dad is now in his life, but that his father will always be, you know, the noodle selling goose, you know. <laughs> and um, he needs them both. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they <laughs> both, they, 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 they both, uh, that he's, you know, he's, he's the result of both of them in a lot of ways. Yeah, I, I thought this movie was lovely. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of this whole series. And, uh, you know, I, I think, I, it, mom, any kid mom. moments to object to? You know, I don't think so. Because it is kind of fantastical. Like sure. the stuff that occurs in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. All that stuff is so, it, it matters from an emotional perspective, but it's so divorced from reality in terms of its aesthetics that right. I don't think it's really scary. Yeah, like no, Nick, Nick is six now. I brought him with me. He wasn't scared at all. He wanted to have dumplings afterward. <laughs> so we did go for dumplings <laughs> nice. afterward. And again last night. He, he keeps seeing the posters. What kind of dumplings? Oh. Um, we did chicken shumai. We did um, gyoza. We did pot stickers. We did a little soup dumpling. Okay, but no, oh. no, no nonsense like shrimp dumplings. No, there was shrimp in some oh, of them. No, why is that a bad why thing? Why is that nonsense? Why, why is shrimp nonsense? nonsense? We all know. Dumplings are poor. No, it's good. We, it's, it's, it's been a good excuse <laughs> to go Everybody find dumplings all over LA, and there's a lot of dumplings. Did you guys LA. see uh, uh, in support of this movie uh, that what I don't know how to pronounce it? Tian Tian Tin Tin. The, the DC, the giant panda at the National Zoo. It was zoo. frolicking in the snow. Oh, that was adorable. Snow. Oh, my God. It was adorable. Yes. I saw it that. has to be a tie-in with this. Right, it totally, can't be a totally coincidence totally can't, that the panda can't. enjoys the snow. Yeah. The same week Kung Fu Panda opens. <laughs> oh. well, that's how cynical we all are. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say it's really fine for any age, although there is a lot of combat. Um, there is not. A, there's no blood. Yeah. Right? Is there any blood No, at all? no, not really. No. I mean, and then even, like, the J.K. Is, is he an ox? Is that what he is? I guess, or J.K. Bull, Simmons, something Ox, like that, yeah. the, the villainous guy. I mean, he's scary, but he also, they give him some moments to be funny because no one, the, the running yeah. bit isn't no one's ever heard of him. Yeah. Come on, Kai, you know who I am. <laughs> so they make him funny. I don't think he's totally, totally fearsome. Right, and a, and a lot of the combat, I think, is very slapsticky. I mean, mm -hmm. like, you know, when, when Poe finally has to teach the pandas to defend themselves, he sort of imparts the lesson that he has, which is you got to, you know, use what you've already got. And so, you know, they, it's they, playful. Their, their, their skill set is not exactly violent. Right, yeah, I know. Yeah. They, they use dumplings as weapons. It's, it's kind of it's clever. So, um, yeah, we like this a lot. What is your number? Uh, I give it an eight. I had a good time. I say eight and a half. So our average is 8.3. And look, it's at 83% wow. on the tomato meter. This Clear. keeps happening. Honestly. Math, <laughs> patterns, boom. So, um, what else that, that happened for the finest hours? That video also uh, posted up our review of that. Yes. Yeah. And that we. Not like, like, as, like nearly as, as much. Well. Yeah, this is the movie. If you want to go see something new this weekend, Kung Fu Panda 3 for sure. Bye.